In this experiment, we will examine the stoichiometry between citric acid and sodium bicarbonate. By measuring the change in mass during the experiment, we will be able to measure the mass of carbon dioxide formed and released. Make sure to follow lab safety procedures while performing this experiment. Always wear your safety glasses and gloves. When you come to the lab, make sure you wear full length pants and shoes that cover your entire foot. For this experiment, we will use a 150 ml beaker, glass rod, scupula and a 50 ml graduated cylinder. You will use the common weighing scale and the weighing paper provided. Take citric acid and sodium bicarbonate from your TA. Measure 50 ml of DI water with the graduated cylinder and then pour it into your cleaned 150 ml beaker. When measuring the water, ensure that the lower meniscus of the water touches the 50 ml line. When measuring out any solid, place the weighing paper on the weighing scale and zero out the scale. Use the scupula to slowly measure out 1.5 grams of citric acid onto the paper. Slowly tapping on the scupula will allow you to finely control the mass added to the weighing paper. Add the citric acid to your 150 ml beaker with water. Go back to your workplace and stir the citric acid until it is completely dissolved. Do not stay next to the weighing scale. Be courteous to the other students. This will take a few minutes, so be patient and continue stirring with your glass rod. Do not remove your glass rod from the beaker once you put it in. Once the citric acid is completely dissolved, measure the mass of the beaker, solution and the glass rod. Once you use your glass rod, it shouldn't be removed from the beaker because it will affect the final calculations. Note down this reading in your lab manual to the correct number of decimal places in grams. Now measure out a sample of sodium bicarbonate using the weighing paper just like before. Refer to your lab manual for the mass needed for each run of the reaction. Add the sodium bicarbonate slowly to your citric acid solution. This is very important. If added too quickly, it will foam over the beaker. When adding the salt, hold the glass rod towards the edge of the beaker so that the powder does not remain stuck to the glass rod. Also make sure that the weighing paper with the salt is not directly over the beaker when not adding the salt. The foaming might cause the paper to become wet. This will prevent all the salt from falling into the beaker. Stir the solution without spilling until all bubbles have disappeared. Allow the solution to rest for a few minutes, then stir it again to allow all the carbon dioxide to escape. Once all bubbles have disappeared and the solution is completely clear, weigh the beaker, solution and glass rod. Note down the mass in your notebook with the correct number of decimal places in grams. Now, pour out the solution into a large plastic beaker. Wash your beaker and glass rod in the washing area. Dry the glass rod and the inside of your beaker with Kim wipes. Now repeat the previous steps for all additional runs while changing the mass of sodium bicarbonate for each time. Once you complete all the runs of the reaction, dispose the contents of the plastic beaker into the non-halogenated waste container. Rinse all apparatus and dry them.